everybody, welcome to SA Boxing Talk here again with Hayden Jones and we're here to talk about Robert Easter Jr. versus Adrian Granados, uh, a fight in the super lightweight division, so it's a change in weight for Robert Easter Jr. and of course Granados has been competing at welterweight, so they're kind of meeting in the middle. It's a 10 round contest, there's no title on the line, I guess both guys just want to figure out how their bodies are going to go and then obviously a guy like Robert Easter or Granados could either fight for a title next. Um, Looking at Robert Easter's record, we know him quite well. 21 wins, one draw, and a, and a loss. Uh, obviously, he's been a lightweight world champion before. He's beaten many of the, the household lightweight names, and obviously he's decided to move up now. He's a good friend of Adrian Broner. I don't know if they're still friends, but at least he was a good friend of Adrian Broner. You know, obviously that bad sort of energy being passed on to Robert Easter when he took that loss. And uh, just quickly looking at Adri Adrian Granados, he's the, the almost man. You know, he's the guy that's almost beaten the guy, you know. Um, 19 wins, 7 losses. He's not, um, sorry, 20 wins, 7 losses. I just looked at the record now. He's not the guy that's that's going to set the world alight. He'll always give you a good fight. Uh, if he beats Robert Easter Jr., uh, that, that'll also set him up for another big fight. So that's kind of his his lifeline is staying in big fights, kind of, is Adrian Granados. Uh, uh, a absolute warrior, orthodox. But what's interesting about this matchup is that Robert Easter, despite being two weight divisions lower and kind of meeting in the middle, has a he's taller and has a longer reach. Uh, in turn, in, in terms of fight dynamics, I mean that can play a lot. I know Granados does fight on the inside; it's sort of his style. He just comes to war similar, similar to a Marcus Maidana, not quite that level, but similarities between the two. And of course, Robert Easter Jr. is an opportunist. Often not the most pleasing to watch on the eye, but always brings um, a close result, which of course fans want. Fans don't want uh, fights that are not matched correctly. Uh, he was overmatched. Uh, well, not at the time. I suppose you can't say at the time he was overmatched, but in retrospect, overmatched against Mikey Garcia. Uh, that fight where Mikey Garcia beat him by unanimous, uh, unanimous decision, kind of showing that Mikey Garcia also isn't the god he once thought he was too. You know, and then Mikey Garcia went on to. Uh, a big fight at welterweight which he probably shouldn't have taken but you know what why not you're Mikey Garcia also an O on your record doesn't mean anything if you retire undefeated so what you know in fact if you if you retire undefeated did you really fight people in their primes highly doubtful so let's have a quick look at the venue obviously they're fighting at the Santana Arena not obviously they are fighting at the Santana Arena uh, it's in Pennsylvania uh, the previous people that have been on the card is Robert Easter Jr. Daniel Jacobs and um, Dennis Shafikov. That's right, Dennis Shafikov. So the, the the venue's been used about, I think six times. Yeah, six times. Uh, so you know, st still relatively new venue. Started up using it for boxing in 2013. So pretty much averaging one a year, considering it's 2019 now. And yeah, the main event of the evening is Erickson. No, it's not. I think Robert Easter. And, no, it is Erickson Lubin against Nathaniel Gallimore. Uh, again, there's a lot of fights in this bill, maybe about 14 fights in this bill. It's still pending approval, but that's a lot of fights to have on a bill. Obviously, different regulations and so forth. But yeah, a uh, whole bunch of up-and-coming guys. It's exciting to watch sort of the next generation coming through. So who's going to win this fight between Granados and Robert Easter Jr.? Let's look at their strengths, you know. Robert Easter Jr. is a guy that knows how to get a win, firstly, before I even start off with his attributes. Uh, he got a good straight right. We saw that we saw that landing against uh, Belthelmu in that fight as well. We, that was a close fight, split draw. That was his last fight that he had. Landed a pearl of a right. Didn't put didn't put Rances down, but you know still landed it with great aplomb. And Granados. Now just looking at Granados' record, and I said he's the maybe man. You know he's only been stopped once, so this is probably going to go to points. Uh, he got. He got stopped in his last fight by Danny Garcia, but Danny Garcia, a notorious puncher, he's got that left hook that he packs uh, as well. Sean Porter, Adrian Broner, I'm just going to read the names out because I'm not going to remember them off the top of my head. Brad Solomon, Felix Diaz, a former Olympian. And Frankie Gomez, I mean, Frankie Gomez is also touted by Freddie Roach to be one of the best talents out there. So look, Granados within his own rights has fought the best of the best, so he's not going to be shocked by the level that Robert Easter Jr. is going to bring him, but Robert Easter Jr., He's going to have to work for this and what, what is Granados going to bring 14 knockouts 20 wins he's going to bring a little bit of power uh east is going to feel some of that heat 
but I don't think it's nothing that uh, um, Easter can't handle, um, considering the fact that Easter fought Richard Comey, and Richard Comey is a notorious punch and knocks guys dead. So I don't think that that's going to affect anything. However, he's always a puncher's chance. I always maintain a punch is a puncher, and you know, it just only takes you can get I, I class for 11 rounds, takes one punch in the 12th round to end things. So he's got to be alert the whole time, does Robert Easter Jr. Anyway. I want to know who you guys think is going to win. I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, I think Robert Easter Jr. wins this fight. Uh, Granados has a shot. I mean, I'm trying to look at the guys that he's actually... He's actually hasn't beaten a real name. But he's fought names and fallen short on decision. Could this be the guy? Could Robert Easter Jr. be Granados' guy? Anyway, have your say in the comment section. And, uh, yep. Like, subscribe, and, yeah. That's it. I cheers.